Oh, hey, welcome back. I know it only took like one second, but uh, show the king the prescription. Oh, this is a well, hmm, well, eye drops. You might say we have them, you might say we don't. We do have the ingredients. If you take the ingredients to the doctor at the Lake Observatory, he can make the drops for you, but you need to deliver them fresh. Can you make it before they spoil? Sure. And now we have a frog! It's an eyeball frog, apparently. And now we have to make it to a, um... Believe it or not, we had to make it to Lake Hylia in three minutes. Whatever we're going to do. Well, as so long as you have Epona with you, this should be a piece of cake. You obviously can't warp there. If you warp there, the time will automatically go to zero. No, we can't. No! Oh my god, I'm wasting time already. Okay, just go into the water. I mean, you're not gonna swim all the way down, but it's still quicker. Then actually, uh... Oh, you know what? There's a gold tool up there, nice and quick. Can I get it from here? I do have the long shot. Well, it's daytime anyway, so that's not even gonna work. And I'm not gonna change it to night. You know? Yeah, so we're gonna have to come back here now if we can take, take it that gold Spatula. I completely forgot about it. Now, if I only went the normal way, then, you know, none of this would have happened. Well, let's see what I could do is pretend. Well, now, if I, but if I say that, that's like, what, what, what am I doing? I'm on a time limit here. I wasted like a minute. Seriously, a minute. Alright, well, walking's not gonna help us. I don't even think calling Epona here is gonna help us, but... Actually, it might. It might. There you are! Okay, let's do it. This, is, this isn't our only time limit, so... Let's go! We're not going to the forest! <laughs> So yeah, can you believe it? This quest started by talking to a cuckoo lady that gave us a cuckoo to raise. And now we're, you know, and now we're pretty much like Dr. Phil, I guess. I don't know. Probably not Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil's not really a doctor, doctor, but I couldn't think of anything else to say, so I said him. Whatever. Yeah, we'll make it there in plenty of time. There's 50 seconds remaining. So actually, before uh, uploading this video... Not uploading this video, before recording this video... I finished editing everything that needed to be edited. So... Everything is now up to date, and... Yeah, so... As I'm recording this, this is the only thing I need. It has 40 seconds remain. And of course... It doesn't... I just... I doesn't seem to work here. She's like a student of mine. I just misread all that test. Hold on. Hello there, son. I'm researching the process of making medicine by mixing Lake Holly's water with various unusual compounds. Perhaps you met that old lady from the potion shop. She's like a student of mine. Ho ho ho. Yeah, yeah. How about this? Oh, look how excited he is. Oh, wow. I haven't seen an eyedrop frog like this since Zora's domain frozen, froze over. Those eyeballs are so delicious. Ugh. Night, I will cook fried eyeballs for the first time in a long time. Ho ho ho! Such a, such great stuff. Please say thank you to King Zora. Huh? What? These are for making big Goron's eye drops? Oh, how disappointing. You should have said so in the first place. Yeah, so he's just power, he's making his medicine now. For the big Goron. Yeah, you better turn. Here it is! This medicine doesn't have any preservatives in it. So it won't last long at this temperature. Run as fast as you can to Death Mountain. You're young. You can do it. So we get a star-shaped world's finest eye drops. And now we have four minutes to take it to Death Mountain. But if you use the uh, you use Epona to get to Kakariko Village, and if you use that magic bean. Um. No, this way, this way. 
If you use that magic bean and on death mountain, hopefully you planted it. I usually always hear it for now, opponent. We're gonna stop. Um, you'll be able to make it there in notes in plenty of time. So. And once again, you cannot warp, because if you warp, the time will go to zero. I just have I think it does. I know, uh, t I know it goes... I know something happens. I mean, if you rave the warp, I mean, it would pretty much break, break the side quest. So. Hopefully I can make this. Got it. Let's not go that way. Okay. So we're about like, let's see, 20 minutes. I've put a little cut in there as well. I think what I'm going to do is um, hold off on that gold patula in Zora's River. Because um, we have to go back to Zora's Domain anyway to get one more gold patula, which we can't get yet until after the last temple. So I'll probably just get it then. So that gold patula is just going to have to wait. And those will probably be our last two gold patulas. Throughout the entire game. In places that we've been to way early. We're gonna get two ghost controllers way late. Which is pretty funny. You know, it's raining out. Isn't this exciting? Okay, so with two minutes remaining, we should have plenty of time. I can even kill, uh, Red's head tykes in the, in the process and probably still make it there. Probably get hit by eight boulders. But I've already done that in the Ice Cavern Master Quest, so... Doing that, you know, is there has already been done. Alright, so let's take this magic bean. Hopefully I can do it like I did last time. Yeah, the magic bean just pretty much breaks this. So now we have 140 left, and prob instead of probably 40. And it turns into day, okay. I'm making some good time. It's not gonna be as long of a video as I thought it was going to be. Of course, the problem is, see, the problem is you wanna have enough time to kill these these two. Or three, uh, Skotulas on the wall. Or Skowaltas, as, you know, they were mentioned before. Okay, seriously now? Uh, do I need arrows? Okay, we'll take them. And of course they give me Deku Nuts, which I don't care about. So we're just gonna go up here. We have about 50 seconds remaining. Right... Now? We will... Give his... The Goron his drops. You know, standing on top of a mountain is not going to help you, you know, if, in case it erupts again. Really? You brought the eye drops? I'm so relieved. I'm going to use them right now. And then you hear the little drops of water. <laughs> of course, Death Mountain. I think that's great. Wow! Okay. Wait. You play WoW? No, okay. okay. Anyway, this is uh, simulating. It works great. Now, I can get back to my blade business. My work is not very consistent. But I'll give you this, so you won't forget. After a few days, please return. Wait. Just... Wait patiently. And we get... The Big Goron Sword! You've got a claim check for it. You can't wait for the sword to be completed. Yes, but if you have the... Sun Song, this shouldn't take no time at all. Just play it three times. Well, not three times. I think it's three days, and then you'll be able to get it. So I'm gonna cut until um, uh, until I'm ready to uh, talk to him. All right. Okay, it's dawn of the third day. I'm just kidding. Okay. I made this trade for clean check. Oh, sorry. Yep, show him the the clean check. That sword is my finest work, and we get 
The big Goron sword this blade was forged by the master smith and it won't break just like the um, the giant knife. So, there you go. It won't break. You can do this as many times as you would like and it won't break at all. See? I mean, how many times can I do this? I mean, it won't break. The only thing is your shield won't work. So, if I haven't made that clear. Um... That's just my funnest work, yes. Okay, so before we go, we're going to fall down again. Okay. And, um, head back to Kakariko Village, and then we'll play that song that we learned way in the beginning of this video. And then we'll, I guess, prepare you the Shadow Temple, which we'll start in the next video. So, yes, a lot has gotten done today. There it is, guys. Kakariko Village down there. I still don't know why Navi turns green here. But anyway. If anybody can lighten me on that, that would be good. Fall down here. I don't care if I get hurt. Okay. Because there's that one secret in Kakariko Village that I wanted to show you guys. That I found, um... Actually, um... While playing the Master Quest version and tr and starting the side quest, actually. So, yeah, so get bombs. And if you have a Rumble Pack equipped on your N64 controller, you'll be able to find this. But since I don't have one, I gotta just, you know, do this. And hopefully I get it. And I got it in the first one. Right here in this little hole. That's how I found it, because my GameCube controller was rumbling. You're gonna see, one, not one we did, but two. So let's just... Actually, let's not... Nah, yeah, let's do it. We'll cheat this out, because I don't want to, you know, end this video if I didn't read it, so it's just going to be boring. We'll just kill him using the sunstone. And we just... Wow, two hits with this thing. One. Two. That's it. Man, and that's a, that's a, a great example about the, uh, the big girl on the sword, man. Okay. Hmm, a little treasure chest. What could it possibly be? Okay, I'm just kidding. Okay, you got you got a huge ruby. This ruby is worth a whopping 200. Yes. So spending 200 rubies um, for a knife that I knew was gonna break was worth it. So I can pick this up and not waste it. So yeah, I had I had theories. Okay. So that's actually the second huge ruby we picked up. And I never even uh, picked those up before before this let's play. Actually, I did do that. Um, yeah, no, right. I never picked those up before this let's play because uh, I never actually went over there before in the fire temple because the fire temple is the other huge ruby. Okay, so. I don't know what the song is because I this is one song I don't memorize throughout the entire game. <laughs> oh, I should have remembered that. Okay, it took a few tries, but I got it down. We're in good shape. Okay, so I guess I'll show you how to open the Shadow Temple, and then we'll call it a video for today. Um, I'm probably gonna split this video into two parts, just so it doesn't go, um, just so, just so it lasts me the weekend, because I don't think I'm gonna be able to record until Sunday night, so that's why I'm probably gonna split this up. Okay, so, you know, you wonder what all this stands for, you know? Anyway, huh. Torches in a circle. What possibly could we, what possibly do we have to do? If I haven't pointed it out already by taking that dense fire. Alright. Let's see if I can get right in the middle. There you go. I think that's my first instance of actually using dense fire in the original game. I'm not really that sure. But I think this is the only required time that you had to actually use dense fire. So yeah. Inside this is the Shadow Temple. And I will be wearing the green tunic again. So, 
this temple will be Green Tunic Temple, everybody. Um, the next temple, well, I'll wear the Red Tunic. And for the final temple, well, the final area of the game, I will be wearing the Blue Tunic. Because blue is my favorite color. So, yeah, I'm gonna be ending the game in the Blue Tunic. But don't worry. Um, I think the last cutscene of the game has actually automatically puts me in green anyway. But that'd be kind of cool with the blue tunic for salon. But anyway. Um, I said but anyway like five times in like, the like two seconds, haven't I? Um, I'll stand on this thing and say goodbye. So, uh, this is Jersey Gamer 9000. Saying so long, everybody. Uh, see you next time when we will start the Shadow 